That's right, boys and girls. Johnny Depp used to act without layers and layers of makeup. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of The Rum Diary. Now, all this might sound like some crazed hallucination, but it's all true. I think. This place is a sea of money, Paul. And there's people like me who know how to get it out. Isn't that kind of thing illegal? That's an inappropriate comment. We've nailed this bastard to his own front door. Before he became an international movie star with the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, Johnny Depp had carved out a nice little niche for himself starring in indie films. Some of them zany, like Benny and June, Ed Wood, and Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, while some of them less zany, like What's Eating Gilbert Grape, Donnie Brasco, and Blow. But nevertheless, Depp could always be counted on to act outside the box. However, one day it dawned on him that his kids couldn't watch any of his movies, so he approached Disney about doing a voice in one of their animated films. And they suggested instead that maybe he'd like to play Jack Sparrow in their upcoming Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Depp agreed and thus began a huge fight with the studio over how zany he was making Sparrow. But when the picture opened and a mega franchise was born, Disney and every other studio in town discovered that when Depp ventured into clown territory, they could make a hell of a lot of money off of him. And they still do to this day. However, what remains to be seen is if Depp can go back to his indie days. Can he truly perform Sans the Makeup without audiences either missing it or unable to forget it? Indeed, Depp may very well have alienated himself from his indie fans by his commercial turn. And there isn't anything wrong with that. Nobody can begrudge Depp embracing his enormous mainstream success. But it's very hard to have one's cake and eat it too. Since he became Jack Sparrow, Depp has not been able to find success at the box office outside of such elaborate roles. But then again, prior to his mainstream success, Depp's movies never made any money to begin with. So what he has to lose is artistic respect. Let's go find out if that's the case. Do you prefer Johnny Depp with or without makeup? Oh, God. Either way. Yeah? <laughs> Either way, he's fine. I like him without makeup, actually. Yeah? yeah. I didn't particularly care for him in the, in the pirate pictures. But oh, yeah? This, 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 type, this is his good venue. I've loved all of his movies and um, from 21 Jump Street. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, well, how about this one? Was this another good one? It was excellent. It wasn't quite as funny as I expected it to be, mm -hmm. but I also would give it a lot of points because, you know, it makes you think and it made some really good points. You have to use your whole imagination to realize what's going on throughout the movie. Oh. In, other, in other words, if you, don't, <clears throat> excuse me, if you don't follow the theme, then you won't get the ending. It was a mix of insanity with the alcoholism uh -huh. and um, how friendships, you know, come together and uh, believing in something that's important. He kind of has like an edge to him, but you know, he'll go out and do weird drugs, but then he like sits down and writes a novel and he He's says really He's a responsible really drug things. taker. Yeah. <laughs> he, you know, he makes some profound statements and you're like, oh, wow, cool. Did you see Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? Yes, I did. Which is better, this movie or that movie? This one. Well, some people say Johnny Depp he can't be zany forever, it's getting stale. Mm -mm. Do you think that's possible? No, <laughs> no way. I think he always mixes it up and I don't think he'll ever get stale, honestly. Oh, that's great. Did you like any of the other actors in the film? Did anybody else stand out to you? I thought the, uh, I can't remember, the, the, the fat guy with the glasses. Oh, his roommate, right? Yes, was he, he good? he was good. Uh, I liked his friend. Yeah? The Both of them, and also the young lady, she's beautiful. Amber Heard is the female lead in this movie, okay. and she was just on Playboy Club that got canceled. Wow. Is this a better role for her? Do you think she had a nice role? I actually didn't know who she was, but I say that she, I thought she did a really good job in the role. Well, she's very attractive. I don't, I, you know, I, I, I don't know what her future holds. But. Was, she good, was she a good actress? Was she compelling in the movie? Average, I would say. Oh, okay. What do you give the movie on a one to ten? I would give it like an eight and a half. I'd give it a nine. I'd give him about an eight. Looks like Johnny Depp can do no wrong as audiences give his latest film an 8.5. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from Regal Ewok, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.